it's all about you. Everything in life is all about you. Hi, I'm Allie Beerman. So glad you came by here today. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com, the place to go to find out why your relationships, your personal life, your business life, your emotional life, and your physical life look the way they do. So what is it all about you? It's all about you and your point of view. Everything in life is really all about you and your point of view. When you look at life, do you see the struggle? Do you see the strife? Or do you see the sunshine? Do you see it's bright? And even in the darkness, do you see the light? Do you see that everything's alright? Because it is, no matter what is going on no matter if you're up or down it's your choice to wear a smile it's your choice to eliminate the frown because it's all about you everything in life is really all about you and your point of view do you realize that the way you see the world is different and unique from the way your partner sees it, or your kids or your family see it? The way you interpret an event is different from the way your friends see it. Let me give you a real specific example here. I know someone is colorblind to a certain combination of colors. Now, when we both see a particular you. He calls it brown. I call it purple. Now, neither one of us is right. Neither one of us is wrong. In my reality, it's purple. In his reality, it's brown. So we grow up creating programs for experiences that we have and then throughout our life we go back and draw on them all done out of our awareness but that's the bias we have because that's the perspective we have each of us is assigning the meaning to the event to the circumstance to the person to the behavior what if you could recognize that fact and be open to exploring how somebody else is seeing the situation? I belong to five different book groups and I'm usually in the minority. I have pretty strong definite opinions and often I'm contrary to what the majority in the group is interpreting whether they like the book or not, whether they like the story, what are the points they do and don't like. Now what's cool about these groups is people will ask me well, why I feel that way, what causes me to interpret it that way, and I ask them similar questions. What do you see in this action that leads you to the result? Or to the opinion that you have. And when you're open to other people's viewpoints, you know what happens? You get to expand your experience of life. So what I want you to do is step back, think about a way that you know your view is rather unique. What aspect of your world do you find yourself having an opinion that doesn't run along with the big thought form out there? Are you a follower? Do you just go along with what most people are thinking? Or do you think for yourself, hey, you wouldn't be here, right here, right now, unless you were someone who thinks for yourself, so let us know what is different and unique about 
you in your world and your point of view. Again, I'm Ellie Bierman. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. And if you want to understand why your world looks the way it does, build your relationship intelligence starting today.